My name is Sue Walsh. I am a creative director and a designer in New York. Um, I, I work at a company called SY Partners, which is a transformation consultancy, which can mean many different things. And I'm faculty at School of Visual Arts, where I teach in both the MFA design program and their continuing education program. Uh, one of my classes in the MFA design program, I am helping students think and conceptualize their thesis projects. So um, our program is called Designer as Author or Entrepreneur. So we are really hoping to change the notion that design is about form making or execution, but it's about developing ideas and creating content as well. So I'm helping um, our class of 23 students, it's a large class, develop ideas that have societal impact, that have um, a business implication, and that also have some evidence of themselves and their own history in it as design projects. You're asking about text and the future of text and the meaning of text. I think what you're really asking about is what is the relationship between text and content, so form and content. It's something that is inescapable as a designer, and I think that there is no answer to your question. Um, there's not one answer, there's an infinite amount of answers. And it depends on what you're trying to say, and it depends on what you're trying to do. Um, regarding the future of text, forms will always change. Um, expression will always change. That is the one thing we can rely on. But this relationship between form and content will always remain, and we can never escape it. So I think it's really asking yourself, what are you trying to say? What do you want people to understand or experience based on the design that I'm creating? And having the authority and authorship to inform both the content as well as the form. Um, oh gosh, that's a huge question. Uh, the future of text-based communications. I think we're seeing, you know, there's more communication than ever. That's for sure, according to all the endless text strings on my phone, um, at least. And I think they're sort of almost in response to some of this um, technologically driven form making. We also are experiencing the antithesis of that, the creation of the podcast, hearing stories in oral form. I think is, you know, it's never been as popular as it is now. It reminds me of, you know, families sitting around the radio listening to it together, which is not necessarily a future oriented image, but that's what has also come back to us. Um, I think there is not one story around what the future of text will be, but the role is almost more again, as I'm stating, um, around what is the relationship to content. And I think the future of text based on AI, different technologies, what we've talked about with the role of government, it's more almost about the future of truth. So how do we think about what is an idea, how is that articulated, and ultimately is this true or real, or what meaning does it convey? Um, one thing that I think is often not taught enough in design school, sorry, start over, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Um, one thing that I think is not taught often enough in design school is how to work collaboratively. Many times in design school we're taught it's about your idea, it's about you as the designer or you as the maker. And in the reality of the workplace and the reality of, the, of how complex our world actually is, the ability to collaborate has never ever been more significant. So. As designers, we bring one skill, but then as many other people in different industries and different professions, they bring other skills. And we actually need the merger of all of those skills, not just design. So I think our ability to work with other people, our ability to clearly express our ideas and defend our ideas when we need to, let go of our ideas when it's necessary, I think that's going to be the most significant skill of the present day and the future.